A few years ago, I built this antenna to receive channel 9 inside my garage. But lately, I've been wondering about how it performs in terms of reception compared to some store-bought antennas. So I thought I'd do a little experiment. This antenna is known as a dipole antenna because it is made of two long elements which are ideal for VHF TV reception. So I thought a good place to start was comparing it against a set of good old rabbit ears. In order to keep this experiment as honest as possible, I'm extending the elements on the rabbit ears to their maximum length. And I'm also going to position the antennas so that the tops of the elements are the same height off the ground, about 70 inches. And I'll be using the same length of coax cable to measure the reception of each antenna. And to measure the signal quality, I'll be using this Ematic Digital Converter Box which I previously did a video review of on my channel. And I'll be using channel nine because it's the only channel I can get with an indoor antenna in my area, unfortunately. In this experiment, the overall performance of each antenna was decent with each producing a stable picture and no signs of pixelation, which is the telltale sign of bad digital TV reception. Overall, the GE Rabbit Ears did produce a slightly higher signal quality than my homemade antenna, as shown here in the final results. So some final thoughts. Uh, this was a controlled experiment in my garage using the one channel I can receive indoors, but it proves that homemade antennas can be effective without being complicated to build or very expensive. On the other hand, sometimes a simple pair of store-bought rabbit ears might get the job done as far as indoor antennas go. Which one is for you? Well, only you know that. But anyone inclined to build their own antenna will find a variety of resources, videos, and online calculators available to help them construct a homemade antenna that is both effective and cheap.